Class in Algebra 1 half lesson 41. Greetings students. Welcome back to the week after Thanksgiving, which is always kind of a slog. But let me give you a beacon of light and hope. We only have two weeks until we are ready for our midterm and Christmas break. Uh, it's gonna be glorious. I will tell you more about the midterm when I chat with you by video this Thursday or Friday. But I will tell you right now that it will be 10 problems, straight out of the homework, no tricks. I'll tell you which lessons to study. Some teachers like to try to make really hard, confusing lessons that fool their students, or, or tests rather, that fool their students. I don't, it's hard enough. I don't need to try and trick you. I will tell you exactly what to study and I'll tell you whatever I think you need to succeed. Yay, doing your homework well is the best thing you can do. Okay, there's just one problem for this lesson and it's called overall average. And I'm gonna tell you right off, this is a concept that I see adults in normal life getting wrong all the time. It's not hard, it just requires that you think a little bit and I know you guys are good at that. The average of the first two numbers The average of the first two numbers was six. The average of the next eight numbers was 20. What was the overall average of these numbers? Okay, this is example 41.1. I didn't write that. Okay. Let's consider just this much of the problem. We took two numbers, I'm gonna call them X and Y. We added them up, we got a total, we divided by two because there were two numbers, and we're told that the average was six. This looks familiar, right? This is the presentation that I've used to calculate the average. Now let's take a look at this next part. Now we added up eight numbers. Oh boy, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. That's eight letters, right? We're just letting the letters substitute for the numbers because we don't know the numbers. We added all of them up, we got a total. We divided by what? Eight, and that average was 20. Well, just looking at that, we can see these numbers must have been a lot bigger than these numbers, right? Because their average was 20 and theirs was just six. There's no way we can figure out these 10 numbers, but what we can do is figure out what they added up to here and here. We can figure out that X and Y must have added up to 12, right? Because 12 divided by two equals six. And we know that had to be two because there are only two numbers here, John told us. So I can figure out what that total was. Now I can go here and do the same thing. I don't know any of those eight numbers, but I know that they must add up to 160 because when we divided it by eight, we got 20, right? Again, the way I'm setting these problems up is pivotal that you understand how they work, okay? That's, in order to understand these problems, you have to follow my process, all right? Now, what we want to do is we want to combine all 10 numbers and just find one overall average, but we still don't know what the numbers are. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the fact that we know that these two added up to 12 and these two added up to 160. So if we add them all up, we get the total of all 10 numbers, right? This is all 10 numbers. It has nothing to do with the averages, although we use the averages to find these numbers. But this is the total we got when we added the first two. This is the total we got when we added the second two. This is the total of all 10. So, oh, Ted, 10 numbers. 
So now I'm using this format, but I'm having to squish a little bit. So I'm just going to write it again. 172 divided by all 10 of the numbers, because this total represents all 10, that will give us the answer, which is the overall average, which is 17.2. Okay? That is the overall average of all 10 numbers. And it has nothing to do with these numbers, although we were right, the eight numbers were all much bigger numbers than these numbers, because look how high our average is, right? Okay? Super important that you understand this. This is a very short video. If you need to, come watch it again. John uses a formula. I don't like his formula. Use it at your own peril. Use this process to understand how to find these totals. Then use those totals for all the numbers to calculate the overall average. Done. Goodbye.